Hi everyone, welcome to a new reading. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you see a new decoration. So yeah, let's bring some purple into the picture again. Um, I also want to say that <laughs> I love. I just look at the big purple heart. Um. I wrote that on my Twitter with the purple heart, the story. I was walking in the supermarket, I think it was last week. I don't remember. I must look it up. It's on my Twitter. Um, I was walking into the supermarket and I was walking from aisle to aisle collecting my stuff that I want to buy. And suddenly I was walking in one aisle and I was walking straight straight onto this purple heart and I was like what's that I've never seen that purple heart in our supermarket you know so um, I went there and I just took it with me I don't even care how much it was and um, <laughs> the funny thing was when I came to buying it you know the cashier it, like the the woman said oh this is reduced it's one one euro only and I was like what really and then she's like yeah <laughs> so this is my one one euro purple heart purple heart <laughs> it was so cool I've never seen that and it was just once in the supermarket there is no purple heart there anymore I don't know where that came from it just appeared out of nowhere and I said oh my gosh that's a perfect decoration for our channel you know it's so cool so, our reading is all about, all about crush. Yes. Who has a crush on you? Let's do this. So, let's see what we can use as signifiers. I want to use three of those thingies. So, this is the first one. I just put them here and you just choose whichever you feel comfortable. They all look the same, so maybe it's good for schooling your intuition. Pile two. And those are pop-up cards. I open them just for you. I cannot see what's written in there. Let's do three piles, okay? I don't want to do much of this because this is, will be a long reading. Okay, guys. Three love pop-ups. Choose one, one, two, three, or choose by numbers, you know, this is one, this is two, this is three. Choose by your life path number or choose whatever feels comfortable, you know, maybe it's your story. This is, remember those are general readings, cannot resonate with everyone. I know my readings resonate a lot, a lot, so let's hope it resonates with a lot of you guys, okay? So let's see, who has a crush on you? We're starting off with pile one. Who has a crush on pile one? Oh no. <laughs> well, you know why I say oh no? Because an X is an X for a reason. You know? An X is always an X for a reason. Um, there was a reason why the universe took, took out that person out of your life. Sometimes, yes, it can be that it was a mistake and, um, you know, it was a rushing from one of, of the sides, you know, to end this connection. But in most of the cases, it's the universe involved. So there must be the universe involved into whatever this is. So it's saying release your ex. So one of your exes has a crush on you. So I don't know which one it is. We'll see. Probably many of you have many exes. So let's see who that person is. It says the time has come to clear your energy. Who is this person here that has a crush? It's the octopus. The octopus is water energy, so it could be a water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Cancer Pisces Scorpio.
<clears throat> okay, when I look at the picture, I see this person as very extroverted, very social person, and they always try to do everything. Like for me, the octopus is always someone who plans in, you know, like the octopus um, changes colors and he has all the colors in his crown chakra. This is a very intelligent person, very intelligent and very, um, very intelligent. They have... I think they went even went to university or even you meet them there that's that they go to college or university they have a high education that's what i feel here with the octopus and um they're very a personality yeah very lovingly like they they want to help they want to be there for everyone that's what i'm feeling too it's like they know a lot of people and they are always there um spirit just told me when you go out dating or when you go out with your friends, you always see them. It's like they are everywhere. It's like you pop, you, you, you pop up in, in, a, in a restaurant and there you sit with your friends. Or then you go to a party and then they are again there. So they know a lot, a lot of people and um, they fit in perfectly. Like the minute and those people are from different social cir circles. Like they are not just one friend group but they have many different friend groups and they blend in pers perfectly and they always try to help yes but i think they are burned out a lot because they do so much stuff it's like they don't know what 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 to do first it's like i feel this is a very stressful energy also like this octopus like i'm seeing like an octopus that cr tries to grab on everything like tries to uh, it's very annoying for me <laughs> like this energy i'm sorry but this person is like they try to grab everything i feel like they they want to help everyone and they they have a good intention but in the end they, they just try to don't miss a thing like they try to be everywhere they don't they they don't want to miss out on something that's what i'm feeling here with this energy and maybe that's why they come back because maybe they um Maybe they have the feeling they miss out on you, so they make their comeback again, just that they don't lose you. I feel here this octopus tries to grab onto things. Like, maybe they also have a hard time letting go of people. That's why it says release your ex. Maybe they have problems releasing people, because I see that here too with those f arms. It's like they want to hold on. <laughs> I really feel this as a stressful energy trying to hold on to you. Even you are trying to release that energy. What's going on here, universe? Can you give me one more card for this connection here? The Sentinel. This is very interesting. Well, this is a very strong personality. I told you they have a high education and um, they're ver very good at talking and speaking. That's why I saw them on social different, many different so social circles. Um, they blend in perfectly. They can, um, yeah, it's like they can switch from one place to another and still they can communicate with all those people and they are seen as very strong personality the dragon it's almost it's oh, let me see
I feel here that um, I also see here a storm coming with all those birds flying away. So this person is really intimidating also people. Like, you know, sometimes when they come, other people fly away. It's like sometimes they come into a room, you know, and not that other people will go, but they will leave shortly after so that this person doesn't notice this. What's this? What is going on here? Let me see what's happening. Let, let us ask with tarot what's going on here. Well, you know now who has a crush on you. This person has a crush on you and this is an ex. So I feel they want to come back and um, in a storm, in a, with, an, with a storm, they want to come back and take you by storm. That's, wh that's what I'm feeling here. Can you show me what's, what this person wants to do? This octopus, king of pentacles. So they could be also an earth sign, water and earth in their chart. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, look at their face, man. I don't know. I don't have a good feeling with that pile one. Look at their face. It's almost as if they say, haha, I, I had you always with me. You are mine. You see this? This is what I'm feeling with the octopus. There's, I don't know guys, I mean, you must tell me in the, in the comments, but I channel someone here that, that doesn't want to let go and is more like a player energy. Um, they want to be successful, yeah, they want to come forward and they want to come with a storm. Here again, the storm. The storm is there. They come forward. They come your direction, yes. They want to come in a storm. Okay. <laughs> so they come forward this crush personality is coming forward so what's the advice let's see what the universe is advising you what's the advice here okay it says within the next few months. So this person is coming forward in within the next few months and you should remain positive. Okay, good. That's a good thing. So maybe because I see that as negative is because maybe that person um, left you in a negative manner. Because I didn't feel positive, even with the octopus and the storm here, I didn't feel positive um, when I read this. So maybe they left you in a... Can you see this card? Let's put this card here. Remain positive. I think that's an important card. So I also want to draw one of those lovey dobby do cards. Show me this connection. Okay. Beautiful, right? I love those cards. A message for you see I'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light I love you Wow okay they come forward they come they come they get ready for the storm <laughs> this will be a storm but you know you must check this out maybe for some of you um, it is positive they changed because um, in the past, it was not positive energy here. I, I don't feel very um, confident saying that this person changed for the better. I see more like a player energy here, but that's just my feeling. Maybe this person changed. I don't see any change here in the cards, but um, it could be. It could be. But you know who has a crush on you. I mean, that was the question not what they're doing so we saw a little bit more so now here you go there is your pop-up message the best love is the kind that awakens the soul and makes us reach for more that plants a fire in our heart and brings peace to our minds nicola sparks okay so this person has changed i think this person has changed yeah it must be because they also say remain positive they wouldn't tell me like they wouldn't tell me if it's not like this 
okay guys so it looks good yeah it looks good if you're waiting for an x to come back and that they have changed yes if you don't want this x to come back then you know when they come forward you can just give them a no you know or yeah but i think they come forward yeah i think so Okay, that's all what I'm having, part one. Now we'll move on to part two. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. Hi, part two. This is your reading. So let's see, part two. Who has a crush on you? Let's see who that is. Channeling a lot of X energy, so there must be new people on my channel. Because before, we, we had not much X energies in my usual viewers. Right, guys? So welcome to... To our new people on my channel. I call you purple lights here so don't wonder when I say purple lights because we're the purple lights of the purple hearts. <laughs> so who has a crush on pile two? Pile two. So let's see. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receives the highest energy of all. Wow. This is someone new. This is someone that, that's heart has been broken before. This is someone who's not easily opening up. This is someone that usually has a closed heart or is not interested in love. That's what I'm seeing here. And I feel that someone who thinks they are You see this? Someone that is not opening their heart to everyone because um, the universe is saying well this is a soul bond look at this there are angel cupids working on this connection and um yeah you see this person um like he's standing down and you're sitting on a horse the feminine energy is sitting on a horse so they respect you very much you know this person is thinking mm, i also feel here a divine masculine that's maybe feeling like they are not worthy of this love something like that that's why they haven't come forward you know so who's the crush here you know Okay, I want to ask again, who's that crush? Because it didn't fall out. Who's that crush? Here, pile two. The snake and the bat. Yeah, they don't show themselves, guys. This is a secret crush. This is a secret admirer. Ooh, the bat is living in a cave. Like, and they hang upside down. So this is for me, the hanged man. So if, you know, they sleep hanged upside down <laughs> so when it's the hangman that person has not opened up to you yet this is a secret admirer for sure and um they watch you in the dark that means um they watch you but they don't show themselves is this is a secret admirer crush oh, i see the world they live on a different side of the world here because i just saw a world here wow this is almost not see like viewable do you see this so they watch you from a different part of the world maybe through social media so i think this is someone who's very um very comfortable in at night so i feel here they watch you over the internet internet at night um <clears throat> i think the wings it's like when they see you you make them fly that's what i feel here um they see you and they fly. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I also just saw that the bed, if you read it reversed, it's tap. And tap is on a computer. What do you do when you put tap? You put, you put like a, a space, right? Don't you put a space in? So I think they want to come forward and um, they don't like the space in between you. But they accepted it. That's what I feel. Yeah, look at this. They want to close the circle. The snake is for me healing. So I also feel that they are healing from a past heartbreak. 
this person has experienced um, a heartbreak in the past. I really feel that. And they are healing right now. See this? Very beautiful. That's like earth energy and air energy. So your person could be an earth sign, air sign. Yeah. Or an earth sign with air qualities, you know? But beautiful. Also here, these... Um, like everything is connected. They are always connected to you. This is like a soul bond. I really feel here also with the angels helping. I really feel this is a soul bond. They could be born in the year of of the snake. Or you could be born in the year of the snake. <clears throat> but that's what I'm feeling here. So let me get more. Who is this? Give me more information, universe. Who is this person? Give me more information. I feel that um, they have very piercing eyes. I don't know. I just felt it when I saw the bat. And they feel you. They can feel you. What else there is to say about this person, universe? The light. Oh my gosh, the Pied Piper. <laughs> I love when this card comes up. I always immediately think of Pied Piper. Wow, look at this. They are delighted by your presence. And they have a butterfly wing, so this person is transforming. I told you, sometimes the bed is also a sign of transformation, of letting go of a past relationship and healing. So this is what they're going through. And I don't think this past relationship where they're healing from is with you. And they are delighted and um, the four and the two equals up to a six. Maybe they are 24 years old, but also the four and the two equals up to six, which is the lover's card, which is the twin flame card in tarot. <clears throat> and um, it's beautiful. Look at this. They love music or they do music, you know? I have seen this here with the Pipe Piper. Maybe they are, they are army too. This is beautiful. And they have the wings of the butterfly here also. The wings. The wings are important. This person feels that you're giving them wings. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Wow. Okay, what else is to say? Yeah, let's get tarot. Tell me a little bit more about this person. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. The highest energy of all is um, the healing energy. Yeah, this is a soul bond. Temperance. They're balancing out. They're balancing out their temper because they want to come forward. Oh my gosh, the, there we have him again. The king of wands. We talked about this king of wands in our readings today. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. I, I said to this army today, it's the it's the one with the wand on fire. <laughs> Basically, literally, his wand is on fire here. So they're very passionate about you guys. This is beautiful. They're really passionate. You feel this magnetic. Um, also here, I feel this is more like fire energy here, this bed. I don't feel this is air energy. This is more fiery, fiery and earthly. <clears throat> and temperance, yeah. They're healing. Look at this. They're healing. They're trying to balance out um, their temper so that they don't lose their temper because they, they burn for you. They are very delighted and they burn for you. Where can I put those cards that you see all of them? Yeah, I think like I do it like this. Wow, that's beautiful. <clears throat> Let's see what the love cards say. This is beautiful. This is a soul bond. This is cute. I really love this. I love this when my soul bonds come in, in, in readings. This is so cool. Can I have one card for this connection? Okay, it fell down. Yeah. So I'm getting it. <clears throat> so. Oh, again, the wings. The wings are important here. 
Maybe there's a lot of angel energy behind this, but the wings, this is important, guys. Look at how many wings, wings, wings. <clears throat> the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibility. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. This is crazy. Didn't I just say the past is behind them? They transformed this old relationship and now they see this, this soul bond. It's like the universe brought that soul bond in their life and now they're like burning and they forget all about that other relationship. They're like burning for this one now. Like they're a real person. That's you, you know? That's beautiful. I love this. I love this. I really love this. What's going on here, universe? Can you give me more information on this this connection? Ask for help from others. So there is a lot of help around this connection. I feel also here a lot of help from other people and um, like a community and also I feel here friends and angels. I really feel the angels here helping like you know this is really can I have one more card? Look at this. There we have him again, the King of Wands. That's the angel telling you and them, don't stop. But it's more, more so that they don't tell, they tell him. Don't stop this connection, you know, fight for that. That's your real connection. That's the one you want. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I really love this. Did I miss anything? wow this is so beautiful so you can be happy if this person has a crush on you i mean that's beautiful that's your divine counterpart having a crush on you so let's take the love card let's open it there is only one happiness in life to love and be loved george sand oh my gosh this is beautiful there's only one happiness to love and to be loved happiness is a big word here oh my gosh this is beautiful i love this Oh my gosh, I just love this. Wow. I love this. Okay, guys, that's all what I'm having. Bye. So hi, everyone. Hi, pile three. Welcome to your reading. So let's see who has a crush on you. Let's see who that is and what's going on. <coughs> pile three universe. Who has a crush? Who has a crush on Pi 3? Show me. Okay. Wow. I see here it's time to disconnect from the world. It's someone that you are married to in 5D, guys. This is a soul connection. Highest grade. <laughs> If this is ever possible you know but this is a very very strong soul connection you are married in 5d to this person but I don't think they are in your life in 3d yet I think this is a connection you have not met in 3d this is someone you still have to meet and the minute you meet them you feel like married to this person um, you feel like you are you are one you just feel you are married guys the minute you meet them it's it feels like a really really strong connection really 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 effing strong beautiful let's see who that person is <coughs> person person <laughs> universe who's that person I love those cards. They are so cool to shuffle. Okay, who is this part three? The person that wants to retreat the minute they find each other. 
we had the sea serpent coming also out in some of our readings. So this is a card I'm familiar with on this channel. This is, um, yeah, I mean, the round card here tells me that this is, um, this is a union and this is a spiritual connection. It could be a water sign. But isn't the sea serpent, it's like a sea snake. This is healing energy also. I see healing energy of emotions. This person is very healing. I feel this person healed you. The minute you met them, you felt connected to them in such a strong way that they healed you. They healed your emotions. Um, maybe you experienced bad relationships before and the minute this connection came into your life, I think they are in your energy field. I think this um, here, I feel that this is like when your soulmate comes in or your twin flame or whatever you call it, they come into your energy field, but you have never met them in 3D, but they are in your energy field because you are married in 5D. So, and the minute they come in, they healed you. They healed your emotions. Um, you can see now clearly, they opened up your third eye chakra. Um, you began to, uh, to become clairvoyant. <clears throat> you maybe are also a card reader like myself, or you, you put down your own tarot. Um, you became very spiritual the minute they came into your life. Yes, I think this person awakened you. I really feel this. I also, ooh, I also feel the throat chakra speaking yourself. It made it possible for you to speak yourself because of the blue. This is a combination of heart chakra because there are some green lights. Heart um, chakra, throat chakra and third eye chakra. So those three chakras, they are especially drawn to. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So let's see. What else there is to say about this person? Okay, that was fast. I'm taking it. Leave behind what is no longer you. Retreat. I think they had many options. I think they had another option and they, they choose you. That's what I feel here because they realized you guys belong together. It's number 33. Leave and see again, we have, look at this, how the colors match. Isn't it crazy? This turquoise color. That's your color, guys. You might be very into turquoise or you might love turquoise or blue. That's the mind. So they healed your mind. They healed your your water energy, your, um, your emotions. And leave behind what is no longer you. They, oh gosh, now they realized. I think they had a choice. I think they had a relationship in 3D, guys. That's what I'm... Ugh, why is everything falling down? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. It fell down. <laughs> and under my um, table, there was this stone. And it just fell on the stone. And the stone is exactly the same color. This is no joke. Wow. <laughs> Universe, you're really here. Hi, Big T. I love you. Look at this. I mean, hello, I just was talking about turquoise and then this card fell down and fell right on the stone. I didn't even know that there was a stone under my table. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I tell you, they noticed, like they had a connection in 3D. They had a relationship in 3D and um, they noticed that this person and them, they are not one. So I think they awakened and the universe brought in this um, soul connection. So they know exactly that you guys are married in 5D. They know exactly. And that's why they left behind what is no longer them. And then now they're on the lookout for you. Now they want to find their one and want to retreat with you. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And the stone, I mean, that's a confirmation, like big, big time. Like, hello, what's going on? What is going on here, universe? Tell me. What's going on with that person? This person 
wants to bring you a gift they want to balance everything out you see this here this is a very balanced person and this is a person that has a lot of money because look at this there are like pentacles all over their life is very balanced between taking and giving that's what i feel they give the same amount that they take especially in money it's like they earn a lot but they also give a lot that's beautiful and they look like a prince they have fine clothing here wow i almost feel like um this is your energy guys i also feel this is the divine feminine energy that you guys also felt this connection on a soul level and maybe you left someone in your life and they they know this both of you know of this connection that this is a marriage in 5d like this is not just only you know this both of you knowing can i have one more card to this person not so many but let's take them all <laughs> if she gives me them all so this fell down yeah look at this they're playing with money like <laughs> this fell down <laughs> it's like I, I think they have enough like look at how they're playing with their money it's like they throw it out you know look at this <laughs> oh my gosh but um the fourth pentacles it's like not throwing them out in like a uh, for themselves you know it's like giving like helping people it's like really they're really um the four of pentacles is also exactly knowing for what you give out your money it's like calculating and it's not just throwing out money oh my gosh they found that beautiful rose look at this they found that rose and we have again the turquoise this is no joke what the hell this person loves turquoise i'm pretty sure well, look at this they had turquoise hair i know only of one person that had turquoise hair baby are you here in this pile again <laughs> oh my gosh this is no joke right look at this they are heartbroken because they cannot be with you right now hi big tay i think you're hiding in this pile also so this is a big tay pile and also a pile for everyone else who feels like this <laughs> because hello what's this that's why he threw out all these things wow this is crazy this is crazy wow i love this pile so give me a heart with those cards that i like i cannot even shuffle them they're like so hard to shuffle they're so hard to shuffle can you give me a message with those heart cards friendship Oop. Okay, not only is there love, because look at this picture. Not only is there love, because the Ace of Cups, that's like big love. That's like a love that goes very, very deep. This is soul love. But not only is there love, there's also like a friendship. This is like a very deep bond. It's like um, the masculine protecting the feminine. So what's it saying? Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. See? This is such a deep bond. It's not only love, it's friendship. It's like everything. And they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken that they can't have this Ten of Cups yet with you, this family. Look at this. Oh, I hope this pile resonates with a lot of you. That's beautiful. This is so beautiful. Okay, which card? Oh, the angel cards. Let's see. Let's see. okay at the bottom of the deck i just looked there is weight so i take that as card because i just saw it when i um when i took down the deck like when i took the deck i just saw weight so so let's see what else what can you give me what else for this connection yeah i saw this in the beginning too recovery so um it's like they're healing i saw this here with the snake wait because they cannot come forward now they're healing 
they have angels with them they heal them see this also the angels help help you to recover that's beautiful okay last one up is the the pop-up message so let's see what it's saying through love through friendship a heart lives more than one life this is no joke how is this always fitting if you look at all these three piles they were all fitting in this those were all different loves this is crazy how is this possible this is not only a love this is a friendship this is like a very deep bond once this comes in 3d guys that's like marrying because a good marriage involves a good friendship between the two of them always it's not only passion it's not only passion that lives through lives through it's also the bond of a good friendship that you can trust each other and that you can talk about everything towards each other that's the most important thing i think in a good functioning relationship if you had ever had a long long living relationship and i don't know i mean i have very young army on my channel and probably haven't had a long lasting relationship but if you had a relationship that was over many years the one bond that is the strongest over all these years you know is the trust and the friendship card if there is no friendship between the two i don't understand how this should function over lifetimes this is beautiful because passion alone cannot hold a um a very good soul connection it just cannot be all on passion it's not possible you can just burn yourselves you know like um for a short time but you will maybe um you know if there's only passion between two lovers there's that will burn out really fast you might not stay together maybe one or two years but then that's it you know if you don't have a friendship between each other the bond won't last you know that's very important for especially in 3d i really believe in that i really believe in that oh i know who also believes in this i just noticed i i didn't think of it yes this is one of the most important things of course not only well if you only have friendship and not no no passion then yeah then it's a friend zone thing you know <laughs> then there wouldn't be love but hello this is crazy there's the ace of cups that's the biggest love of all here that's like the the love when you um when you're a teenager and you fall in love for the first time that's the ace of cups when you're like giggling and you're like having butterflies all over Oh my gosh there are stars around that cup i didn't see this how many are there one two three four five six seven eight stars eight nine ten eleven stars are on this card that's a twin flame 11 12 13 14 15 maybe those numbers mean something to you that's beautiful oh gosh this is beautiful i love this okay so that's it that's what i'm having for part three crazy good bye guys